Guys, we have the filter turned on. I just think I messed up terribly, guys. And like I said, you guys are gonna wanna stick around to the end. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be setting up the best five gallon beta fish tank that you could buy off of the internet. Ooh, baby, I am so excited. Let's get started. Before we get into today's video, I have some great news. First of all, my hair is growing back, so that is a great sign. Remind me to never buzz my head ever again. Second off, we're gonna be setting up this amazing five gallon tank set up for our beta fish, and you guys are actually gonna decide which beta fish is going inside this new tank setup. And then later on in the video, we're gonna be explaining what we're doing with the other beta fish in that 20 gallon tank. This is going to be an awesome video and if you guys could do me a huge solid drop a like on this video to help me out with the YouTube algorithm. And also there is a ton of you guys not subscribed. Check this out right here. So if you are one of those people it would be amazing if you could just go down below hit that sub button. It'd make me extremely happy. Okay so on to the tank setup. So this is the Marine Land 5 gallon portrait and honestly I've wanted this tank setup for the longest time. Every time I went into any pet store I've always seen this tank setup and I finally bought it off of Amazon. So on Amazon this is actually listed I'm pretty sure as the best selling or like the top seller for a five gallon beta fish tank so if you type in beta fish and you type in five gallon this is the best one that they sell I'm pretty sure this one is around $50 and honestly this looks amazing it's like one of the cleanest and coolest tank setups that I've ever seen it's gonna look amazing in the kitchen and if you guys want to get the same exact tank I'm gonna leave the link down below and it's gonna take you right to Amazon if you guys want to purchase this exact tank setup Wow, look how beautiful this tank setup looks. It has this awesome LED light on the top. Wow, look how clean that is. Like literally, this is gonna look way better than this 20 gallon divider tank. The filter is off right now because I turned it off for the sake of me filming. So a little backstory on these beta fish right here. These are the first ever fish that I've ever purchased. The first ones on the channel. I've had them for about a year. They're all doing fine. I'm still feeding them, but this tank was just so hard to maintain. Before I had them in like three individual tank setups in this exact spot, and I thought it would be a great idea to put them in a 20 gallon and divide them up. But that idea really didn't work out. These got extremely dirty. This tank was just so hard to maintain. And honestly, I've been wanting to scrap it for the longest time. This just came in about a week ago. I'm finally able to set it up. It's a few days before Christmas. So I'm so excited to get this in the kitchen finally because this was just kind of looking like a little nasty. And as you can see, this tank is just extremely beautiful. Like I mentioned, only one beta fish is going in this tank setup and you guys are gonna help me decide which one is staying in the kitchen? We have the beautiful platinum gold. We have the placket koi right there. And then we also have the dragon scale in this one as well. And I know that and I know that 20 gallon looks a little rough, but the beta fish are 100% okay. Been feeding them every day. But like I said, that tank is just so hard to maintain for some reason. Like I always fill it back up with fresh water and it always just drops down like crazy fast. And I'm super excited to set up this one. All right, enough of me talking. I just wanted to give you guys a quick backstory on the beta fish if you are new to the channel. So let's set this bad boy up. I am super, super excited. All right, so I'm guessing that this is the top. We have all of the instructions right here. Oh my goodness, this thing looks so clean. Actually, let me put the styrofoam to good use. Let's mount up the camera a little bit. All right, I wanna do this as gently as possible. I think our best bet is actually lay it on its side again. Oh wow, this tank comes with literally everything you need. It's beautiful. Alrighty, so let's take a look at what we got. Just look at how clean this tank setup actually is compared to like this. It's gonna look way better aesthetically in the kitchen when people walk in or we're eating dinner at the table. This is just gonna be nice, clean, and simple with one beta fish in here, a couple of live plants, a nice little hide, and it's gonna come out amazing. And I'm finally excited to like start doing this again because I've been neglecting beta fish videos. I've been doing like a lot of reptile stuff and also some stuff with the 60 gallon community tank over there. But I wanna get back into beta fish videos because a lot of you guys found me from like those types of videos, so. And like I said, you guys are gonna wanna stick around to the end because we're gonna be talking about what we're gonna be doing with those other beta fish. I'll give you guys a little hint. We're gonna be building like a DIY rack upstairs in the reptile room and it's going to be all of the beta fish beautiful tank setups like i said i'm taking everything super serious going into the new year and i hope that you guys are excited for that all right so over here we have the cartridges for the filter we're just going to leave this all in this does not want to come out we're going to slide that back in right there all right so this is the cartridge for the filter this is an awesome tank because everything is set up like inside the tank like the water gets sucked into right here and then it gets pushed out over here Ooh, baby let's take out the lights that's my favorite part all right so i just got this bacteria starter and the water conditioner as well and before we actually set up this five gallon tank we're actually going to be scrapping this whole tank but that's going to be in a separate video but for now 
I'm gonna be taking the betta fish out and leaving them in these red solo cups, which is perfectly fine for a few hours. I just wanna clarify again for those of you who need to hear it twice, just for a few hours. They're not gonna be staying in here for days, for weeks. You know, they sell them in cups at the store. I know that's not like the best way to sell them, but betta fish can live in water. That is still, they actually can go up to the surface and get some air. It's not the best way to keep them. Like, you know, people keep betta fish in bowls. I don't agree with that, but they can survive. It is 100% okay for me to leave them in those cups for a few hours. I just want to say that three times now just so you guys aren't hating on me in the comments I'm gonna be putting them in those cups scrapping that whole tank setup and then we're gonna be setting up new homes in a separate video I'm gonna go run to the store after this video and that's gonna be a separate video me setting them up in their own individual tanks All right, so we just put all of the betta fish in their red solo cups just for the time being until we actually get their official new tank setups. But I'm actually thinking which one I want to put in this new five gallon tank right here. I don't know which one I want to put, guys. We have three betta fish. I'm not hating on the dragon scale, but that kind of looks like a normal betta fish. But the platinum gold is really beautiful. That solid white color just looks amazing. But I don't know, guys. We might have to go with the placket koi right here. This is one of my favorite ones. Just the colors on this betta fish are insanely beautiful. Wow, so gorgeous. I think that one would look amazing in this tank setup. No, not that tank setup, this brand new tank setup right here. Doing all this stuff, like this tank setup down here reminds me of like the videos I used to do like six, seven months ago, like setting up this betta fish tank back then. Brings back fun memories, but we're gonna get into the fun part now, actually setting up this five gallon tank. Remember guys, if you wanna get the same exact tank setup, the link is down below. We're gonna get into a cool montage right now of me setting everything up because I wanna get it done. We have a ton more stuff to do today, a lot of videos planned out so if you guys want to be a part of that and not miss anything be sure to sub down below it would really help out a lot going into the new year I really want to hit hundred thousand subs I just want to throw out that goal but before the end of the year I think we can make it happen and by you subbing I'm one person closer to that goal before we get into the montage I just want to say that I'm gonna be using these leftover rocks and for any of you guys that are wondering yes they are already clean but if you guys are setting up a brand new tank setup be sure to clean your substrate it's very important All right now on to the montage Oh my goodness, guys. This looks so amazing right here. Look how clean this is. It has the black background already in. This is such a good purchase for only $50. We still have to set up the lights, but as you guys just saw in that little montage, we just put a little substrate in. I didn't want a crazy amount. We put a nice little hide for whatever betta fish that we're putting in. Like we just literally went from this right here to this. I mean, look how clean this looks. It's so aesthetically pleasing. Less is more. A nice five gallon betta fish tank, which for a betta fish, you always kind of want to aim around like the five gallon mark that's like minimum but if you can't afford a five gallon tank make sure the minimum I mean the minimum minimum is like a three and a half gallon they sell like a nice top fin that's like three and a half gallons that tank is honestly really good but always try to aim for the five gallon mark for a betta fish wow so setting up the lights was literally so simple all you do is just clamp them in behind here and they just go in nice and snug so that's what it looks like behind literally i thought i was gonna have trouble because like this was kind of hard to like maneuver but literally they just clamp right in so while i'm doing this i noticed that they only gave me one cord so this is actually connected to the lights right here so i'm kind of wondering is this for the lights or they never sent me a plug to actually plug in the filter well we're gonna plug in this right now and see what actually happens i'm using my camera to, for vision all right here we go three two one Oh, that's clean. So that's the nighttime light. Oh my God, that is so beautiful. I cannot wait to see a betta fish swimming around in this five gallon tank. Massive upgrade we just did for whatever betta fish is living in this tank. This is going to be incredible. So it's either I didn't see a cord or that somehow like turns on from like an on switch. I don't think that's the case though. So I got to look back like in the instructions, look in the box. I'm hoping that I have the wire in that box though, because I only saw one cord. And if we don't have a filter, then that is not going to be good. I just think I messed up terribly guys. Please don't tell me there's another cord behind here. So I just made a major mistake guys. For some reason they put the power cord all the way down there, like not in the box with the other cable. I mean, why would they put that all the way down there? I mean, how do we, how do you even grab that? Oh my God. I did not need this headache right now. cannot believe that this is happening. This is so unfortunate, I'm not gonna lie. 
I'm gonna dry this off really, really well. But now, in case you guys get this tank, I just made the mistake so you guys don't have to. For some reason, they put the power cord like all the way down there. They didn't put it in the cable box, like with the light cable. For some reason, that's kind of bizarre. I mean, what I'm thinking is like, like that whole power outlet is supposed to be like in the back over here, and all that comes out is the plug. That's what I'm thinking. We're gonna plug it in right now, and hopefully, it works. Fingers crossed. Hope I don't get electrocuted. Oh, that just scared me. That just scared me so bad. You guys just witnessed me getting so scared. So I just went to plug this in and the power of the filter turning on made me jump because I thought it was like me getting electrocuted but anyways it works Woo! thank god look how clean that flow is barely any sound compared to something like this this was so much noise in the kitchen area guys we have the filter turned on and it is pushing baby I'm so excited to get a betta fish in this tank I'm gonna leave it up to you guys in the comment section down below what betta fish would you guys like to see in this tank setup in my kitchen the dragon scale the beautiful placket koi oh no that's the platinum gold or the placket koi right there. Leave your comments down below. So while I was adding in the water, I added in this Ready Start Bacteria Starter from Top Fin. You don't have to use this brand, but mixing this in with the water makes it safe to add fish almost instantly inside the tank. And I was also using this water conditioner as well. But just to be safe, since they're beta fish, I can leave them in that cup for a few hours. I'm gonna let this tank cycle for a few hours just to be safe. I am super happy with how it came out. Like I said, pretty generic setup. All we have is a substrate and a hide, which is honestly perfect for betta fish. You don't want to add too much stuff, and especially artificial plants because they can tear up the fins. But we're definitely going to be adding in some live plants, maybe like a couple over here, a couple over here. And then honestly, this tank is just going to be set up just like that. A nice clean look for the kitchen area. And that is going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to end this video now because I want to go set up those racks for the other betta fish, put them in other tanks. That's going to be a whole separate video, and you guys are not going to want to miss that. I have a reptile room upstairs. I did part one a couple days ago. Part two is coming very soon, so stay tuned for that. Shout out goes to this person right here. It's a few days before Christmas and I'm only off one day this week from work because of Christmas week. It's extremely busy. So I'm going to try to make a ton of videos today so I can upload for you guys. So with that all being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Check out all the links down below. Like I said, the Amazon links, if you guys want to purchase that exact tank setup. Also, all of my other socials are linked down below. I want to start wrapping up the outros like kind of quick. So I'm trying to find like a flow of like how to end them quick, but also by like informing you guys about like all of the stuff. So if my outros are different, like in upcoming videos, just know that I'm experimenting with my channel and with my videos. But with that all being said, thank you guys so much. I will see you in the next video, hopefully tomorrow, because we are still trying to continue Vlogmas. So I will see you then. Peace. Molly merch is coming soon. Let's look at her just roll over. <laughs> we are definitely getting Molly merch.